Hey everyone, Ryan from Foxtech here. Today, I'm going to show you how to control your Apple Watch using hand gestures. This is a really cool feature that allows you to navigate your watch hands-free, and it's especially useful in situations where you can't easily touch the screen. Let's get right into it. First, to start using hand gestures, you'll need to enable the assistive touch feature on your Apple Watch. You can find this in the accessibility settings. Once it's turned on, you'll be able to control your watch with just a few simple gestures. To navigate through your Apple Watch, all you need to do is clench your fist. This will move you to the next item or action on the screen. It's a quick and easy way to scroll through options without needing to touch the display. When you're ready to select something or confirm an action, simply pinch your fingers together. This gesture acts as a tap, allowing you to choose an item or confirm what's on the screen. If you make a mistake or want to go back, you can double pinch your fingers. This will undo your last action or take you back to the previous screen. For more advanced options, you can double clench your fist to bring up the action menu. This menu provides additional controls and options, giving you even more ways to interact with your Apple Watch using just your hand movements. One of the great things about assistive touch is that you can customize these gestures to suit your preferences. In the assistive touch settings, you can adjust what each gesture does, making it a personalized experience that works best for you. As with anything new, it might take a bit of practice to get used to controlling your Apple Watch with hand gestures. Spend some time familiarizing yourself with the different movements, and soon it'll feel like second nature to navigate your watch hands-free. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope this helps you take full advantage of the hand gesture controls on your Apple Watch. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.